Tonight, a record-breaking settlement. Baylor St. Luke's Hospital and its parent university will pay $15 million to make a whistleblower complaint go away. That whistleblower, a fellow doctor who reported three heart surgeons accusing them of passing off critical parts of procedures to unqualified medical residents. The FBI says it put patients' lives at risk. Federal investigators say those doctors signed off on being present for surgeries. But that was impossible, they say, because documents revealed the doctors claimed to be in multiple places at the exact same time. Prosecutors writing, quote, the teaching physicians churned through as many cardiac surgeries as possible to generate revenue for Baylor regulations be damned, end quote. ABC 13's Alex Bozarjian explains. The whistleblower in this case was a professor slash surgeon that was working in the teaching hospital at the time. According to the settlement agreement, he became aware of doctors that were double booking, sometimes triple booking surgeries, surgeries that by law they were supposed to be present in from start to finish. Now, because he blew the whistle on all of this, he's getting a little more than three million dollars of that total 15 million dollar settlement. In 2019, a whistleblower complaint triggered an investigation into the surgical billing practices of three entities, including Baylor St. Luke's Hospital. It took years to develop this case. Patrick Yarbrough is part of the team of attorneys who represented the whistleblower, Dr. Jeffrey Morgan. Behind a whistleblower is a huge amount of courage. Morgan alleged to have witnessed his colleagues book multiple surgeries at the same time and delegate some of the most complicated aspects of those surgeries to unqualified medical residents. The U.S. government has rules about what you can charge Medicare for that are, in, that are there to protect the public from dangerous practices. The settlement addresses allegations from June 3, 2013 to December 21, 2020. A total of three surgeons are named in the civil lawsuit. Dr. Joseph Caselli, Dr. Joseph Lamellis, and Dr. David Ott. They are alleged to have violated Medicare teaching physician and informed consent regulations. For example, the complaint details Dr. Ott's schedule on a day in 2015 where he was slated for surgeries on two different patients in two different operating rooms during the same time frame. Despite the fact that they overlapped, he attested to being present at both the entire time. Documents also show that Dr. Caselli double booked surgeries where both patients had to be put on bypass for over two hours and those surgeries then overlapped with a third. According to the lawsuit, Dr. Lamellis was a visiting professor from Miami and his compensation package was, quote, based on a pay per procedure structure such that the more procedures he billed, the more he got paid. Records show each surgeon earned over $2 million per year, and investigators say Baylor increased its revenue by $150 million from just these three surgeon cases alone. In a statement to ABC 13, Baylor St. Luke's Medical Center said in part, the DOJ claims are strictly allegations, and the settlement by Baylor St. Luke's is not an admission of liability. Baylor St. Luke's remains committed to complying with all CMS regulations. Um, I hope this... Uh, inspires others to come forward. Um, I hope that this gives people uh, the knowledge that the U.S. government is serious about fighting um, fraud and abuse in the system. Dr. Ott and Dr. Coselli still have active licenses in Texas, according to the medical board. Dr. Lamellis, who was a visiting professor at the time of these allegations, no longer has an active license in the state. In Southwest Houston, I'm Alex Bozargian, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.